Greetings, Sagittarius. You know, you're loving life. It's a good thing. Now, when we talk about Mercury's position in Taurus, and it's about to go retrograde, this is the health house. So please, you know, with Saturn in the first house, and this Mercury about to go retrograde in your sixth house, I'm like, take care of yourself, you know. It's not a good time for eating too many bonbons or things made out of flower projects, you know. I mean, just stick to, you know, the, stick to the vegetables, a little modest proportions of, of meat and healthy fats, you know, avocado and coconut oil and olive oil and even, you know, grass-fed butter, things that are from a good source. And um, you're going to have a better life, you know, you're going to have a better relationship to um, yourself. One of the ways to get through the sixth house part of the, the Taurus thing, you know, with Mercury and Mars there is... Um, Allow, just discipline, help others, charitable causes, really, since the sixth house is opposite of the twelfth, we make better karma that way. But you're having fun, you're being loving, you're being expressive, and you're in your heart, you know, this is a time where you're in your heart space a lot more easy, and I think the heart and the things we love, really, those are the powerful things that make the magic happen. It's not all up here in our head, it's not just having power. <clears throat> it's not even, you know, I mean, we need to have a foundation to experience anything. So, I mean, take care of that first by all means. But eventually, get into your heart. <laughs> it's a great place. Okay.